Hey traders, this is Cousin Vinny coming to you on Sunday, June the 5th with the look ahead for the week. I have the S&P 500 here displayed and uh, we had this ascending wedge which we talked about the possibility of a breakdown to, to a lower level which is typically what ascending wedges do. Uh, you could also look at this purple line here as an ascending triangle. Um, however, this didn't play out. I thought that this, these three, this candles system here, one, two, three, four, was going to break out higher, but the momentum uh, faded and we broke down on the jobs news and unemployment. Also, uh, home sales. So we can see the momentum is definitely to the downside. We broke the 100 EMA, this uh, EMA right here, the lower trend line of this ascending wedge, and you can see the EMAs are starting to flatten out and the shorter time frames are starting to turn down uh, and have turned down. The uh, 10 EMA and the 20 and so forth. Q's, same pro um, pattern. We have this pivot point here, these two pivot points, and we broke below with this shooting star candle and looking at the stochastics moving lower. Also note on the S&P that the volume was pretty substantial, higher than, than average in this uh, time frame. So we have three big days of selling. I'll be watching what happens on Monday if we get a retest of the 100 EMA, get back in this channel, maybe break higher or if we break lower right off the bat. The tendency has been to move higher during the morning and then to sell off during the evenings. So again looking at the S&P if you look at the 30 minute or the 60 minute you can see where we are in this channel. Okay, It's pretty obvious. The Q's 60 minute same thing. You can see we broke down below these levels here and stochastics is pointed lower. Okay, MACD is headed down as well. And when you look at the volume, uh, it was pretty substantial on Friday. That being on the hourly. Now on the daily, we can see the relative strength versus the SPY is starting to turn down, even though the SPY is also moving lower. So there you have it with the SPY and the triple Q. Russell, you can see the same pattern, three substantial days of selling and watching for some of these areas here that could be support, support possibly, and again down in this area here. Okay, I'm looking for lower, lower uh, prices at this point, although uh, I'm not trading a lot, so keep that in mind. Uh, sometimes it's better to just sit on your hands and wait for something to materialize than to try to guess which way the market's going. For the time being, I have a bias to the downside. The emerging markets, EEM, that's holding up a little bit better. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'll be watching the dollar this week to see what transpires, whether we get a retest of this level. Uh, which looks like it could be likely. Uh, after we hit the 100 EMA, we continued to sell off and went right through the 20 EMA below the 20 EMA. We got across there. Notice the Euro US dollar pairs. The Euro's got some major strength there and looks like it could come back up and test this upper trend line. I'll be watching that uh, for plays in both gold and also in silver. Okay. There's your gold chart. Note that on gold we have stochastics overbought, but we're having a higher, a lower high. So I'm watching this for a move lower, okay, just based on uh, a divergence in strength. With that in mind, I'm also trading uh, NEM. I believe Big Wave Rider is trading RGLD and some other commodities lower RGD. and you can see the double top here and we moved lower we're touching almost touching the 20 EMA 
we're starting to turn down on the stochastics, so looking for that to move lower as well as NEM. Uh, we're in this this channel that I am trading uh, at the present. Looking for the stochastics to get down in this area oversold before I take this off. I'm looking at a, a larger trend. I'm watching SLV inside of this this range here on the possibility of a trade there. This gets down below this level. Looks like we can move much lower. Okay, that's Cousin Vinny coming to you from Day Trading Radio with a quick look ahead for the week of June the 6th. Remember to take profits and be careful this week. Maybe you might consider sitting on your hands and watching for a trend or some levels to appear to get some signals for trades moving forward. Okay, take care and we'll talk to you in the room. Take care.